This is where students get so messed up. So let's forget about the negative sign right now, but let's just kind of go through uh, some simple problems. What if I had d plus, um, d plus 7 equals negative 13? Let's say I have d minus 7 equals 13. And let's say I have uh, 7d equals negative 13. It's called it's all negative 13. Okay. So on each one of these, you guys can see there's something different that's happening to my variable d, right? These aren't a part of this problem. These are just random problems that I want to talk to you about. So in this one, what is happening to my d variable? What operation? What is the 7 doing to it? Add, subtract, multiply, divide. It's being added, right? Next one over here, what's, the, what's happening to this d? It's being subtracted. What's happening to this d? Yep. What is the 7 doing to the d? Well, where did add, subtract, not divided, so it's going to be what is what happens when you it's multiply, right? When you just put a number next to a variable, we don't always need we don't need to put in the multiplication symbol. We'll assume that it's going to be multiplication, all right? So, ladies and gentlemen, when solving one-step equations and also when solving two-step equations, which we're going to go over today, we have to apply our inverse operations. That means if I'm adding, I need to subtract. If I'm subtracting, I need to add. If I'm multiplying, I need to divide. Does that make sense? You're undoing what's happening. And why are we undoing? Well, because when I undo, positive 7 plus negative 7 is now going to be d plus 0. And then this ends up equaling negative 20. Here, that becomes d plus 0 again. And this equals negative uh, 6. Then over here, now this is going to be a fraction, but again, this divides into 1 times d. And I'll just leave the answer as a fraction. Okay? Now, what's d plus 0? Is d plus 0 always going to be d? Yes. So our d is b by itself. So d equals negative 20. Here, we have d equals negative 6. And what's 1 times d? D. Again, you guys notice that D is going to be by itself. So, on each one of these problems, did I solve for the value of D? Did I get D by itself? Yes. So now I know the value of D that's going to make each one of these equations true. And all I did was you applied my inverse operations. So now, ladies and gentlemen, by looking at all this, let's look at this equation. We've already covered addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So, looking at this one, what do you think is happening to the D? It's going to get multiplied. Right, but what's happening to it? What, is, what operation is happening to this D? Oh, it's being divided. It's being divided. And the, and the opposite or the inverse operation of division is going to be? Multiplication. So what I need to do is I need to multiply by 7. So I multiply by 7 on both sides. All right. And then how do you multiply a number times a fraction? You guys can just put this over 1. All right. And therefore, um, what I'll have here is I'm going to erase the below over this. All right. And what you guys notice is I can, there's a couple of ways we could talk about reciprocals and so forth. But what you'll notice is now, again, I have 7 divided by 7, which is just going to go to 1. So I'm left with a negative d equals negative 13 times, nine, uh, times 7, which is a negative 91. Now, I've solved for d, but is my d positive? Mm -hmm. No, it's negative, right? So I need to get rid of the negative. So there's two different ways. So really what's happening is this d is being multiplied by a negative 1. That's what the negative symbol represents. It's being multiplied by negative 1. So I need to undo multiplication of negative 1. So to do that, I could do what? Divide by negative 1. So therefore, d equals, well, negative 91 divided by negative 1 is going to be a positive 91. All right, now, real quick, ladies and gentlemen, if you, another way to do this, rather than multiplying and then dividing, you could also just multiply by a negative 7. Then the negatives would end up canceling out anyways or go to positive. So if you multiply by negative 7 on both sides, you get your answer a lot quicker. All right, but I want to kind of break down the steps for you. All right? Okay. 
Whew. Everybody got the answers written down? Awesome. All right, if you guys could, um, if you have your folder...